You may be wondering, James, what does T-Pain have to do with personal branding? Hold on tight, my guy, because there's some gems we can pull from his story. In this video, we'll explore two actionable steps you can implement immediately to build your brand. Then we'll dive into T-Pain's journey in a saturated music scene and extract a few valuable lessons you can apply today. Let's get into it. So now that we know what a personal brand is and why we need to build one, the question is now is how do you start establishing one? I'm not going to go too deep into it, so let's cover a few basic points that will help you right now. Tip number one, it's all about discovery. We are starting here because in order for you to define your brand, you need to become self-aware. Take some time to answer these questions, okay? What are your skills and traits? What makes you tick? What is important to you as a person? And these would be your core values. What is it about you that makes you different or unique from the other person who's in the same field? Is it your story? Is it your experience, right? If you offer a service, is it the way that you present yourself that makes you different? Ask yourself, who do you want to connect with? Your audience. Based on your skills and your experiences, what problem can you solve for them? Answering these questions will help you form the foundation of your brand and lead you to the intersection of purpose and fulfillment. Tip number two, clean up your digital presence. Today, when somebody meets you on a Zoom call, the first thing they're gonna do is Google your name. Most of the time they're doing this is because they wanna validate you. They want to understand what's the reason why this person should be sitting at this seat. They need to know can this person be trusted if and if this person means business? This is normal, you know? So go through your online profile, your websites, and all your platforms and make sure they reflect the same message and image. Take down old club pictures, swap out your old profile pictures that were that was up in 2000s, early 2000s. Update those pictures with professional images, right? Hire a photographer if you need to, right? And if you can't right now, Cell phones are super high quality. You can take quality pictures with your phones right now, right? Check this out. This was taken with my old iPhone 11 Pro. I think this came out pretty nice, right? So make sure your social profiles and websites are up to date, professional and aligned to how you want to be viewed. All right, so now let's talk about T-Pain and how he solidified his personal brand. Let's not get it twisted. Having a personal brand is not only for the rich and famous, the personal branding principles apply to everyone. The difference between us and the famous is that they just have a lot more eyes on them. And many of them have reinvented themselves throughout their career. They actually can serve as a case study for us. But before we get into T-Pain, do me a solid and hit the subscription and notification icon to be in a loop of when I drop fashion and personal branding videos, All right? The goal of this channel is to give you quick wins to become a sought after individual, okay? All right, so let's look at T-Pain. In the Netflix documentaries, This Is Pop, T-Pain shares how he went through four years of depression because Usher called him out and said he was ruining music. That's the very moment that started like a four year depression. Kind of a wild thing to say because I bet you right now, you could probably think of at least three heavy bangers from T-Pain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I hope copyright doesn't get me. But between 2005 and 2009, my guy was crushing it. He had 17 top 20 hits on the Billboard Hot 100. Now the key here that caused him to rise to the top was his consistent use of autotune, which you know is the infamous effect heavily used today by many artists that manipulate their voice. You see, T-Pain states that he used autotune in order to make himself sound different from other artists of that time. So T-Pain was not only consistent, he was intentional about his use of autotune to the point that he became famous and in demand for it. He became synonymous with autotune. Even though he wasn't the first to use it, 
but he will forever go down in history as the artist who took the world by storm for his fun songs and catchy auto-tune hook. So the question here is, like T-Pain, how do I rise to the top of my field? How do I become known? Well, it's simple. All you have to do is consistently show up. So what does that look like? If you're a realtor, consistently talk about your take on the real estate market. If you're a fitness coach, share tips on how to get certain results. If you're in the tech world, share better ways to do certain technical things and leverage social media to do all this, okay? But let's not just keep it at just social media. Engage in activities that allow you to showcase your skills and expertise, such as speaking or writing, attending events. The bottom line here is it's all about consistency. The more you show up, the more people will remember you for that specific thing. Listen, just like taking care of a garden, cultivating a personal brand requires time and effort. However, in the long run, it's worth the investment for your future and stability. So while you're at your job, do what you need to do. Jobs are a gift that pay you to learn new skills, meet new people, and build relationships, right? Jobs prepare you for your work. And most of the time, jobs prepare you for your purpose. But while you're at your job, work on your dreams. Start leveraging your skills to help others on the side. Build your brand. Because one day, if your employer decides to lay you off, you're prepared because you were building all along. And if you're an entrepreneur, I challenge you to start cultivating your personal brand so you can build a cult-like following. When you start a new business or create a new product, having a loyal audience already in place is clutch. They will be quick to jump on board and support your venture. I'll say this, whether you're working a job or running your own business, building your personal brand is essential for your future stability and your long-term success. Let's build. I got you a drink.